everyone, and welcome to another episode of the Forever Cash Life Real Estate Podcast, where we talk about all things cash flow and land flipping. So today we are having as our guests a couple who has taken our land profit generator method and taken it from zero to half a million dollars in five months. You want to know how? Well, right after this. Welcome to the Forever Cash Life Real Estate Investing Podcast with your hosts, Jack and Michelle Bosch. Together, let's uncover the secrets to building true wealth through real estate and living a purpose-driven life. Okay, so here we are. So let's get, let's get going. Our, our guest today are Chantel and Elton uh, Gabriel. You pronounce it Gabriel? Okay, uh, with the Zoom Gabriel. Gabriel, okay. It's my German accent that messes it up. I can always, any mispronunciation, I can always blame my German accent on. Uh, it comes in very convenient. Um, how, how are you guys doing? Doing very well. Wonderful. Great, great, great to have you here. So, so let's jump right in. So, give us first of all before you you guys taken our land business from zero to half a million dollars in market value of properties under contract or sold uh, in a matter of five months. That is obviously absolutely fantastic. But before we jump into that, tell us a little bit about yourself. Tell us about give us a little bit of your history. What's your story? Tell us tell us about yourself. Well, we're business owners here. We're in, in Canada. We're roughly about three hours away from the city of Toronto. Okay. So, hi, Canada. <laughs> so, um, our prior history, we actually we own a, a, a nutrition and health business uh, where we sell supplements, fitness accessories, and, uh, and apparel, things of that nature. Um, and we actually knew during our time doing that business, it wasn't really scaling the way we wanted it to scale. We started like everybody else. We started from the from one store, then we scaled to two stores, and then we realized the, the second store is actually giving us more time that we had to consume to actually focus on the business. So we just said we needed to make a shift to be able to you know scale back so we can be able to focus on making more money with less time, and then that's what really geared us towards real estate investing into land. Okay. Now, how did you come across the land business, and how, how come across us? Well. Through Instagram, you get to see, and social media, you get to see little advertisements here and there, um, people talking about like um, tax deeds and tax investing. And then one time I popped, I clicked on it, and someone said, oh yeah, you're Canadian, you could buy in the US. And we were like, hmm, that's interesting. You could buy in the US. So we started digging more into that, looking into that, and we found it was actual real. You can actually buy tax deeds in the US as a Canadian. And then we said, you know what? It only makes sense doing it one off. So yeah, okay, you buy one property and then what? What do you do? How do you sell it? So then we said, you know what? If there's a, you can actually buy property through auctions and taxes, how do you actually turn this into a real business in the US? Because again, as we're Canadians, we don't have time to actually travel back and forth to actually go look at the property, you know, see it, get it appraised and things of that nature. So we just started, you know what? This gotta be an easier way. And then we just said, hey, People buy and sell land in the U.S. like they buy houses. So we just said, hey, we just look into that and see how the land, um, how that works. And then once we see that, it was really easy. All right. So then you came across us somewhere on a website or just you Googled us or something? Yeah, actually doing that same process, your name did come up. We've seen your, a lot of your videos on YouTube. Uh, we've seen a lot of your old interviews, your, your, a lot of your old seminars and things like that. So we're like, this guy, Jack, he seems like he knows what he's talking about. Okay. Oh, cool. I'm always interested in here where, where people hear about it, how they how they get it because everyone has a different path, right? I know some people that uh, that invest in all kinds of stuff and they're sick and tired of investing. It. They want to invest in something simpler. Some people can't get this to work, and 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 now they come over here. Some people are referred to. So it's like it's, it's so it's always curious. I'm always curious to hear about it. So your path came from Canada. Understanding you wanted to invest in the you, know, you realized you can't invest in just. And it came through tax deeds, which is something that we don't teach that much anymore. But it's more like a side thing. Certain when you go off for land, some properties are going to have back taxes. Most are not going to have back taxes. But uh, you came into the tax deed the world, which is actually interesting enough. The same way we came into the land business, we came into the tax deed, the tax deed world, and everything we ever gotten in that environment or in front of us that was affordable was land. So therefore, that's how we kind of got into the land area until we realized that we don't have to go off to tax the liquid property. So, so wonderful. So now you get started. You got our program. You have the land profit generator, right? Um, right. Right. And you got started, and and then 
five months later, we get a video from you saying, from the both of you driving in the car, jamming to some really cool music, um, and basically like stating, hey, we just basically broke a half a million dollars here. So give us the scoop on that. All right. Well, I can say honestly, that day I remember it was a Friday night. We bought your program and we binge watched your program that whole weekend. And in fact, we actually binge watched it for a few months. We've played that LGB program, I would say roughly about 50 times. Oh, wow. um, and again, it's just because we needed to understand it completely. Um, and actually going through that steps, learning it, watching it so many times, it just became natural for us now. How do they actually do the business? We know step A, you got to do this. When you step B, you got to do that. So anytime we do come up with any type of uh, deal that's a so-called scenario or a problem, we just go back to the program and the program says, hey, you got to do this. And we follow it through. Or if there's something that we became with a hiccup, we looked at the program again and we said, oh, that's where we made the mistake. And we went back to it again. So um, following your program step by step, we just did exactly what you said. We took our eagles out. We didn't have no type of input. We should do this or this should be better. We just did exactly what the program did. And that's how we ended up to that result. That's fantastic. That is great. And, uh, and now tell us, so this is, consists of 18 properties, right? That you've done, have you done since then? A at, few more? That, at that point, since then, we picked up, I believe, 14 other properties. Well, the 14, so now you're up to 32 properties, adding up to what? A million dollars? Up to three quarters? No. <laughs> We wish at this point. I would say roughly, I would think about six, 650 right now. Oh, yeah, that's, that's pretty good, 650000 dollars So you picked up these properties, you have them on a contract, I assume, right? And or have you bought them outright? Right. Oh, we, some of them we do bought outright, and then some of them we still have them on the contract. Okay, yes, we good. And then you turn around and you, and you sold some of them already, right? Yes, we sold a few. I believe what we sold about seven or eight of them. This weekend? This yes. weekend alone, we sold about seven or eight. Oh, this weekend you sold seven or eight? Yes. Oh, fantastic. What, what do you do this weekend? Well, I went bowling. What do you do? Well, I made 100 grand or 50 grand or whatever it is. What's the profit of those seven, if I may ask? Even if they're smaller deals, part of it, or perhaps not. The, so with these ones, these were some uh, low um, deals that we picked up. So I think the profit on those ones would have been 10,000 total. Okay, that's okay. Sometimes you pick up smaller deals, but hey, what did you do this weekend? Oh no, I slept. I, I went to the bars with my friends. What did you do? Oh, I made ten grand. Like, woohoo! Congratulations. I mean, a lot of people will kill for that for that ten grand. So that's fantastic. So, so tell us about. Let's say, let's jump into some of these deals. So, um, first of all, you you do our process, right? You send out letters, you get the thing. Have you outsourced some of the pieces, or you do it all yourself? Uh, no, we do it all ourselves. Okay, so, so you take the phone calls and everything? Yes. I do the phone calls um, for the sellers as well as the purchasers, and he does all the marketing. All right. Okay. And uh, that's right. That's about how Michelle and I uh, separated out, too. I mean, we both took the phone calls, but I still was, uh, she quit her job first, and then I, uh, I was still traveling 100%, and she took a bunch of phone calls during the day. And uh, now, so let's talk about, so... What was the first deal like? Let's, let's talk about that. The first deal, that one was actually a very interesting deal. Okay. Uh, we sent the letter out. Um, the person called us back. The guy's like, yeah, I want to sell this property. And I also have another property just down the street I wanted to buy. I want to sell. And we're like, hey, okay, great. So we took a look at those properties. And the funny thing is, we actually, it was a smaller property. I think it was uh, point one of an acre, 0 0.11 or 0 0.12, one of those things. That was the main one we actually sent the letter out for, but also found out he actually had a, a one acre that was actually worth about $78,000. So we ended up grabbing both of those uh, under, I believe it was under $2,000. $2, $2, no, so okay. yeah, that was one. So that automatically put us up roughly about 80,000. And uh, have we sold those already? already? One was, one, is, one was sold already. Okay. And one probably made you more than the $2,000 you spent on those, right? Right. <laughs> right. Come, on, come on, guys. Tell me a little bit more. Here. Give me, give okay. me some. Well, 
another interesting deal we got up was uh, we bought two properties so far for a dollar. Um, one lady, we one property was. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Did you say you got them both for a dollar? Yeah, we have two two separate occasions. We bought two properties for a dollar. For a dollar, okay. Now, did you have some back taxes? Uh, one had back one had back taxes, and the other one that was free and clear. All right. Okay. So the All one. Right. Lady First lady, we the first one was pretty much a fluke. We're just like at this point, we seen it was a high back taxes, and we're like, you know what, we're gonna it's our first set mail out. So like, you know what, we just we know we're not gonna make real money out of this one. Let's just put the offer out for a dollar, and let's see what happens. And out of the bunch that came back, the lady signed back for the dollar. So like, okay, wow, great, we have this property for a dollar, and that one. That one still hasn't sold yet. That's still being marketed. Um, that one's a little more uh, tricky because it is landlocked. Um, okay. Also, it's in a different side of town where it's, yeah, it's really difficult for this property. But this other property it now. It costs you a dollar, so, okay. Yeah, it costs a dollar, so exactly. So the second property, the second time we got it for a dollar, that one was really more Chantel doing. Um, her conversation, was she was talking with the seller, and she was really, uh, really nice. And she just said certain keywords. And Chantel just said, oh, no, we're, I'll, I'll send you an email. And I was like, looked at her like, huh? While she was in the conversation, she hung up and she said, yeah, I'm going to do this deal. And it's going to be for a dollar. And she goes, I'm going to get it. Watch. I go, you can't do that. That's not outside of Jack's program. She's like, I'm getting it for a dollar. And she sent the email out. And I swear, less than 20 minutes later, we got the email back. She accepted it for a dollar. Well, if they say that's that's beautiful, Chantal. Congratulations to that and, and for seeing that because as you do this, you get the feeling when they're ready, right? If you do this, that's something you lose when you when you when you scale and you really scale big. You go to you, you outsource the phone calls to a call center. You lose that ability to tell when somebody's ready for a dollar, but therefore you get to scale to to as many deals as you ever want to. But uh, but yes, for as long as you do it yourself, you can definitely. Uh, you can get, really get that get that feeling so like, okay, they said all the right things. They're ready to drop this property for basically nothing or for a dollar. Uh, very beautiful. And that one is sold already, you said? Yeah, that one sold already. That one sold uh, this past weekend as well. And then we picked up five for $50. Yeah, we picked up five for $50. Um, also, we picked up nine at one shot. And that one, I believe, was only for $2,000 for nine. All right. I mean, you guys are really figured out how to get the properties for cheap here. That is fantastic. Now, is there anything special you do? No, no, not at all. We follow the program step by step. And you know what? We can't be more, uh, uh, more direct about it. Just, we just follow the steps. If we have any problems, we just go back to the program and say, okay, where did we fail or where did we make the mistake? And we see at this point, okay, this is where we did it. We got to change it from here and go right back onto it. So, yeah, we didn't. We don't have any coaching. We just follow the program, and it's it's your program really works. Some, I don't, some people binge watch Netflix. We binge watch you. <laughs> there we go. There's some people on Netflix. You uh, you binge watch Jack. That's that's beautiful, <laughs> right? So, uh, so uh, great. So so now tell me about the most profitable deals that you have done so far. Yeah, you can <laughs> um, I guess our owner financing ones are probably our most profitable uh, ones because we have income coming in every single month and people pay on time and our, we set our down payments at a decent amount so that we at least paid off the property and we have some income to pay the, anything additional that arises and our interest rates set at 12.9% so um, I think our owner financing deals are probably our most profitable ones. Okay, so you do really follow everything step by step because twelve point nine is what we're asking for. So, right. So, <laughs> so, yes. so, yeah. um, so tell me about one particular deal. Like, what did you buy it for? What did you get as a down payment? What did you get as a monthly payment? Yeah, okay. Any, any of your deals? That would be a really good one. Hmm. I'm trying to think right now because there are so many. Maybe we do. Uh, Wingdale, um, Wingdale. Okay, there's, there's one property that we bought. Um, I believe we bought that one for only a thousand dollars, and that one we didn't even close. That was a double close. So, what happened with that one? It was a wetland property, too. So, 
we don't discriminate. We, you said it before in your videos, you are not the market. Even though the property is wetlands, it's in a, it's in a uh, rural area, we took that property. And once we bought that one under contract, we double closed it and we walked out with that one with, with 19,000 on that one. All right, so that's, that is very, very nice. Congratulations. So you, with no money out of pocket, 19,000 in your pocket, that's great. So now how does that, so let's talk about a couple of other things then. So with that, obviously you guys have rocked this. Congratulations, that is absolutely fantastic. So with that said, now, where, what, has, how has had, how, how has this success in this business affected your other business uh, that you, that you have, still have, right? So. Well, this definitely affected it tremendously. So now we've scaled back. Uh, we're now, we pre pretty much closed our doors. We did a hundred percent online now. Um, so now we're actually fully committed to actually being a hundred percent land business owners. So we're now in the land business, I would say about 95%. Okay, when did you close your doors? Uh, well, since COVID started, um, our doors were closed. We yes. could have um, stayed open because we are considered essential, but we didn't want to take the risk to our own selves. So um, it was since then, and we just uh, uh, ramped up what we were doing online. And just that's our, he's, that's, he calls it our gas money. All right. Yeah, that makes sense. Now, uh, this, is, this is really, really cool. So the timing could have not been better, really. Right, because like yeah. literally, while one business is taking off, the other one, while it's good business, it hit the COVID snag that basically allowed you to stay safe and shut down your doors and convert it online and make it into gas money, but really have the time to take the other business to the stratosphere as you guys are doing. So, what's your thought about that? But it's, you know what, it's really in intriguing to know that we're in a position now that we can say we don't have to put 100% time in all the time to focus on the business like our other business. We constantly was 6 a.m. to 9 p.m. constantly doing, trying to work that business. But on the land side now, it's really part-time hours, literally four to five hours a day if we wanted to, but because we have have that work ethic of working the other business, we work the land business the same way. So, because our goal is to actually try to retire before we hit 45. So that is a really our goal. So we're putting that work ethic the same way we did with the other business to make sure we can reach that goal. Absolutely, and you will be able to reach because you guys look no a day older than 29. So it's all good. So, so with that said, uh, <laughs> So, so great. So if you have just one last question, and if you're somebody that's watching this right now and has like, and is like on the fence or is not sure, is like thinking like, what, well, what should I do? This should I not do it? What do you, would you recommend to somebody like that? Do it right now. Just buy it right now and binge watch it. Like you binge watch Netflix. Right. So, so get immersed in it. Take, take the steps forward, get involved, get really learn it, immerse yourself in it. Right. And we've purchased properties with no money, so money shouldn't be the issue. Why you don't take advantage of it? Wonderful. Well, yeah, your, your, your program is the truth. And the thing is, is that there's other people that are out there, other companies or other uh, products that are out there that they have flaws. And we can honestly say that this program has zero flaws. If it doesn't work, it's because you're not working the program. Okay. All right. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate that. So guys, that's it. So with that said, thank you very much. So everyone, um, you just go take action right now. So with that said, thank you very much for being here with us. And this really concludes, uh, concludes this. So uh, go ahead and uh, everyone, if you're watching this on YouTube or on iTunes or listening to that, uh, take action, come over, go to our website, lpglab.com, go to our Facebook group, uh, go to uh, our website, lplandprofitgenerator.com, get, get started, get in the game, because if you don't, uh, if you try to figure this out on your own, you're just wasting time and energy. So with that said, thank you very much. And, uh, thank, thanks a lot, uh, Chantel, and thank you very much, uh, also, Elvin. So thanks, thanks for being on the show. No, thank you and thank you, Michelle. We appreciate you guys and all the team over there at LPG. You guys are great. Thank you. Thank you. Enjoyed this episode? Then make sure you like, subscribe, and post your comments and questions below the video. 
We're looking forward to hearing from you.